Hey everyone, this is a full platform walkthrough of the M Help Desk web version, which you would usually access through your computer. Before we start showing you around, it's important that you know that we know that your workflow is unique. That's why we allow for flexible use of our lead, estimate, job, invoice, and payment features in any order and combination that makes sense for your business. Not everyone is going to use each step in that particular order, so we designed the product with the importance of that kind of flexibility in mind. But in this walkthrough, to keep it simple, we will be going over those steps in that order, right after we start out with our scheduling feature. M Helpdesk's built-in scheduler allows you to check your availability to prevent overbooking and underbooking. If you've got a team, you can manage everyone's schedules in one centralized place. We also integrate with Google Calendar. First, you'll set up your teams and staff under the People tab here. This is where you can color code and choose who to display on your view of the schedule. You can toggle the view from day to week to month. In the day view, you can print today's schedule and agenda to hand over to subcontractors who may not be using the mobile app or be listed as users in your account. The Assign view is a neat little tool which will allow you to simply drag and drop unassigned jobs into your staff's schedules. They'll instantly be notified of their new job assignment and will receive a text message or email with the details. Another way to schedule is by clicking a time block and filling out appointment information, then adding job info. If you choose not to add job info right away, you'll still have blocked off the time slot, useful for when you're out of the office or not available for other appointments. Hover over the appointment box for details and click to view the job itself. In the mobile app, the same can be accomplished by tapping on the appointment, then tapping on view job. From there, the technician can view more details about the job they've been assigned. Managing leads in M Help Desk makes it easy to follow up with your prospects consistently. You can even rely on automated text messages to send out a greeting as soon as you receive a lead, which significantly increases your chances of winning the job. Track a lead's status and the last time you contacted them, even from your mobile app. Then get in contact with them easily by giving them a call directly from the app. View lead details and track progress on your leads by updating the lead's status. A lot of these will update automatically, like selling when you make an estimate for your lead, and approved when that estimate converts into a job. You can also create your own lead statuses to fit your workflow under Settings, then Lead Statuses. Here's where you can schedule an appointment for a lead. Say you schedule an estimate visit. The technician you assign it to will immediately receive a text message outlining the details they need to know about the job. They can open up their app and access turn-by-turn -turn directions to the job site. Once that's done, with the click of a button, you can copy the lead details to the next step in your workflow. In this case, we're moving on to making an estimate. Propose the work to be done by outlining it in a professional looking estimate. You can redesign the look of the estimate, personalize it with your logo, email it, and capture a digital signature from your customer. Each estimate number will be automatically generated for you, which you can customize under settings, then numbering. The issue date automatically populates with the date you created the estimate. Add items from your price list, which can be synced from QuickBooks or uploaded via CSV. Talk to us about data migration if you need any help. Here's where you can send the customer a digital copy of the estimate, where they can approve it in just a click of a button. If you're on site presenting the estimate in person, you can have customers sign off for approval with a digital signature from your mobile app. You can access your list of estimates here at any time in the web app. Now I'm going to convert this estimate into a job, which would signal that the customer has given their approval to move forward with the work. So here we have your customer's contact information and service location, and the history sidebar on the right. You can track the journey from when this customer started as a lead, transition to an estimate, and so on. It'll record your status changes, time tracking, and much more. You have the option to leave a note for your fellow staff members, as well as send an email or text message to your customer. So it's really nice to have it all in one place for you to reference. 
Utilize the customizable statuses to track your job's progress. They can be customized under Settings, then Job Statuses. We'll also talk later about how automation can play into using these statuses to their fullest potential. Another customizable list here is the Job Type list. This is just a high-level overview of the type of work you're performing. You can also use this to populate custom forms like checklists that are relevant to the type of work you're doing. In your Items section, you'll notice the approved estimate items have already transferred to this job. This is also where time tracked by technicians will show up. You can choose to make that time billable if you charge for labor, or make it non-billable simply for reporting purposes. In the Assign and Schedule section, you'll assign techs and teams so they receive notifications about updates pertaining to the job. To create an appointment, click the Schedule button. You can check availability for an individual staff member or all of them at once to ensure you aren't double booking anybody. If the appointment is going to repeat, you can set up a recurring schedule here. All you have to do is set the start date and frequency slash duration of the recurring schedule. The assignee will once again receive a text message with the information about the job and can open up the mobile app for turn-by-turn -turn directions and to take notes and upload photos. You can capture important information about the equipment such as brand, make, model, and serial number and keep a history of every job you perform on that piece of equipment. You can set up equipment types and custom fields like the ones I just named under Settings, then Customer Equipment Types. Speaking of custom fields, Customer Equipment isn't the only place in MHelp Desk you can create custom fields. You can capture important additional information such as readings, checklists, and notes on your jobs, and customer profiles too. You can create custom fields in the form of text boxes, large text boxes, drop-down lists, a simple yes or no option, calendar date fields, checkboxes, encrypted fields, and read-only fields. You can even choose to populate different sets of custom fields based on your different job types since you probably won't be collecting the same kind of information for an installation job as a maintenance job, just as an example. All right, now back to the job. The last thing we'll see down here is the file section. You can upload any files that are relevant to the job, such as documents and photos. This is a good space to store before and after pictures on a repair, for instance. Here's where you'll find your list of jobs. You can sort them by column, create filters, and edit the kind of information you want displayed here by going to Customize View. Just check the boxes to pull in the column containing that information. So let's say we want to create an invoice for this job now. We'll go down to More, then Copy to Invoice. You may start to notice how this virtual filing cabinet, as I like to call it, is coming together. You can flip back to any of these tabs to reference the information in previous steps in your workflow. So you'll notice your billable items came over from the job to the invoice. Anything you marked as non-billable will remain on the job for your own reasons, like reporting, but it won't show on the invoice to the customer. The invoice number automatically generates, but just like the estimate number, you can set up your numbering preferences under Settings, then Numbering. For instance, maybe the last invoice you created outside of M Help Desk was invoice mm, 400. So you start your invoices in M Help Desk at 401 to pick up right where you left off, and it'll just count up from there. Go ahead and make any final changes you need to make before emailing the invoice to the customer. The PDF you see here is what will be attached to the email you send the customer by clicking email. It automatically populates the fields with their contact information and whatever you have set up in your invoice email template. That means you can set up standard language specifically for your business so you don't need to type thanks for your business a million times. If you're performing a recurring service, you can set up the invoice to send out on a set schedule under make recurring. You can capture a signature on the invoice as well. When it comes to taking payment, it's more important now than ever to offer credit card payments as a convenient option to your customers. That's why we offer M Help Desk Payments as a way to process credit cards and even bank payments at a competitively low transaction rate. Just like the other lists, you can access a full list of your invoices here and sort by column or create filters. You also have access to a list of all your unpaid invoices right from the dashboard under Invoices with Balance. Now let's take a look at maps. 
You may be thinking, hmm, this looks familiar. And that's because we use the same mapping tools you use in your everyday life, which is awesome because you can utilize their street view feature if you want to scope out your surface location. These little red flags are for unassigned jobs. So you can take a look and see which ones still need to be assigned a technician, and you may look at these and decide who to dispatch based on proximity to the site. If you toggle the view to all, it will show you some green flags too. These are jobs that have already been assigned. Also, if your team enables location reporting in their mobile apps, you can click on this team tab here to see their most recent location. We mentioned customer equipment a bit earlier during the creation of the job. This tab is where you'll find the details and service history on each piece of equipment. It links you directly to any past jobs you've associated with the piece of equipment and stores useful data as well. Moving on down the line here, we have a variety of pre-configured popular reports broken down into sections like customer, financial, GPS tracking, job, time by assignment, and time tracking. You can run these by setting date parameters for the reporting period and choose to display the data in a bar chart or pie chart, whichever you prefer. You'll get a table of your data here and the chart down here below. The best part is you can download a CSV and open it up in Excel if there are any further formulas or computations needed to finish up your reporting. The next thing I want to show you is something that will probably reduce a lot of needless work you didn't realize you were doing in the first place. The first is reminder rules. You can set up reminders to automatically kick in in certain instances, like following up with customers X amount of time after you finish a job. In this example, I'm setting up a reminder rule to let me know to follow up with the customer a week after I set the status of their job to closed. It will show up in my calendar for a week later, and if you have email alerts enabled, it'll send you an email to remind you as well. Auto-update rules are awesome for assisting in some of the manual work you're doing consistently. For example, you can automatically assign the repair team to repair job types, or set one up for your bookkeeper to be automatically assigned to a job once it hits the ready for billing status. That way, you don't have to spend multiple clicks accomplishing something that can be done by setting up this rule just one time. Moving on to website integration, use online booking to allow your customers to schedule their own appointments. Just set up everybody's availability and the services you allow customers to book themselves, and then add it to your website for them to use using this code. If you're not comfortable with letting your customers book themselves, try out our online request form to receive job requests and schedule them at your discretion. You can even show custom fields for customers to start filling out details on their own. And this is where you'll find the code to add that to your website as well. Lastly, we have the customer portal, which has the potential to save you time on updating your customers on the status of their jobs. You can even let customers pay their invoices directly from the customer portal. You set them up with their own login, and any jobs under their name will populate in a list for them. They can see some basic details about the job, such as its status and when it was last updated. They can even send you messages directly to your side of the ticket where they'll populate as a thread in your history sidebar. Customers can also add their own jobs similar to what they'd fill out on the online request form, so the scheduling of the job is still at your discretion. Once you close the job and create the invoice, the PDF will be available to view by the customer through the customer portal. You can even allow them to pay the invoice online by adding a link to your invoice PDF so you don't have to take the credit card over the phone. So those are some of the automation and website integration features we offer to help streamline your workflow. You'd be surprised at how much manual work you can cut out, so take advantage of these. Most importantly, and finally, is the ability to keep your team connected with the help of text and email notifications. You can enable text message notifications to send in certain instances to both staff and customers, such as appointment reminders. Email notification settings can be toggled up here. Notice that each has a link to customize what it looks like, so you can add and remove as much information as you'd like your staff and customers to see.
Thanks for allowing us to show you just a few of the things that M Help Desk can do for you. If you would like to learn more, just click the link at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.